Could you imagine? Right on top there. <laughs> I think Jason just found a freaking bomb. I don't know, man. It's got fins. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's right there. You're parked right in front of it. Huh? Where is it at? It's right over here. I put it underneath the orange cone. That way I wouldn't forget where it was. I didn't want it by us. As we do. Mortar round. A mortar round. That's what it looks team. like. That's okay. that's what we think it is. I mean, all right, no, it, no. It, it could, be, be, a, safe to say. it could yeah. be a gear yeah. off piece of machinery for all I know. I mean, I was a mortarman in the army, but none of our mortars were like that. Okay, <laughs> so then. I mean. That's about, let's say about six to eight inches. Yeah, I would say about about eight inches 10 inches but you can see it's got all the individual fins and they're staggered just like the one in the picture all right you covered don't handle it uh you already handled it but i'll just let them know we got this one we had yeah that's a pipe bomb for sure got a uh fishing reel That is 100%. Yeah, there's the fuse. You can see the fuse coming out of it. There's caps on both ends of it. That is for sure a little pipe bomb. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Well, what are you supposed to do when you find a pipe bomb tanner? You play with it. Are we gonna get rid of it or are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it because they're gonna wanna come down here. So I thought for sure that might have been a pipe bomb. But then we caught that. Luckily it's probably filled with black powder and the fuse is wet, which means all the black powder inside is probably wet, so it's probably probably safe, but we're not the ones who are gonna make that determination doing what's called magnet fishing yeah. familiar with it mm -hmm. okay cool you probably want all that uh we put it on the back side of the concrete blocks over here fuse is destroyed more than likely it's completely filled with water but you know i'm not a professional so all right so the bomb squad guys are all here um, they're getting ready to unpack. We've told them that we will not record this portion, so we'll meet up with you guys afterwards. Well, what the hell I just caught, but, uh, oh, are you serious? A pipe bomb? That looks like a pipe bomb Whoa, to me. yeah, it does me too. Oh, what the... Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Okay, so, uh... I saw the little filter screen thing. I don't know what the hell... Yeah, it's got pipe dope on it. I don't know what that is. Let's see. If, I don't. I'm thinking of these things. Do they have a fuse on them? Well, there would be a hole probably in one of the caps. Uh, no, nah, all the way down here. Yeah. The tape is, yeah, I checked the ends. There's no holes in the ends. Okay. Uh, the tape is the only thing that throws me off because I would assume that somebody would use that to tape down a fuse. Yeah, sure. 
um, you know, if you're dumb enough to drill the hole in the center of it instead of the cap, I guess you'd probably get a better explosion, wouldn't you? Because it'd be it igniting in the middle. Yeah, it depends on what it's going to do. She's a little one. Don't know if somebody threw it off the overpass or if fishermen were down here. Oh, it's little. Yeah, it is little. Okay. That tape is the only thing that makes me think. And there is something underneath the tape. If you if you feel it, there's yeah. actually a ridge. Actually, that's it. That, that might be it right there. That's plumber's tape. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's Teflon tape on both ends. So they wanted it to be waterproof, is my guess. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, I'm going to take an x-ray of it and see what we got. I got my partner rolling this way. He's got the he's got one of our cutting systems to be able to cut it open. So we'll see Yeah, like you guys used out in Ypsilanti? Yes, same one, yep. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I forgot that was the same. Yeah. Yeah. Same <laughs> yeah, this is our third time talking. Yeah. First time I've seen the big truck. Hey, it's the first time I've done this too. <laughs> <laughs> that was him honking going across the top. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Hopefully he wasn't honking at me. <laughs> oh, sweet. <yeah. laughs> by about five inches in length, appeared to have fusing well on the side with visco fuse inside, uh, and then uh, potentially smokeless powder inside. So that's uh, all the fixings for a pipe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you so much for coming. What is that? What? Holy cow! <laughs> Holy crap! What is that? Um, it's live, whatever it is. 30 millimeter T239. Ooh, we can look this up. Wow. Seriously? What does it say? Uh, DDP. No, Hop 5. 30 millimeter 259 bullet. This is the biggest bullet I've ever caught. This is huge. Better than the bullet you caught down at the dock. Way bigger. Okay, it doesn't come up. All right, I found the bullet. Uh, let's read about it. Projectile steel and aluminum, windscreen, black, one copper, driving band, projectile markings, white ink, 30 millimeter, TP, two, okay, so yep, there's TP right there, T239, KOP5-7, okay, that's got to be it, um, brass, knurled, choke crimp, electric primer, flat brass ring crimp, red annulet, uh, okay, so I just found online, that that TP marking right there actually means target practice rounds. So I should be okay to keep this. I did reach out to somebody who knows a lot more than I do, and we'll see what they say. He's actually a retired bomb squad guy. So I'll wait to hear back from him. Okay, so I just talked to my con one of my contacts with the Detroit bomb squad. Uh, he talked to one of his friends. They decided that this thing could have a spotting charge in it, which would be a small explosive uh, that goes off when it hits the ground so it can be seen. Um, they are contacting the Michigan State Police with the pictures I sent them, as well as my contact information, and the Michigan State Police are going to make a call as to whether or not they need to come out and collect it. Randy says he got a bullet. That's not the same. Not the same. You see that? That's that's like a that's like the one I got at home. Okay, that's an interesting one. 
Oops. Maybe why we got two different kinds now. <laughs> You're gonna have to clean that up and see if you can find any markings. That one's older than mine. Sweet. Very, very, very cool. Have a look at that too. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna want to look at that too. Okay. Nice find, Randy. Thanks, Jason. Watch out, that's icy. That's one. That's the other. Right. This one you can see had a failure to feed. Okay. So it got cleared out probably. Yeah, let's, uh... I can hold that for you if you need no, me to. No, that's all right, I got it. Wasn't sure about it. Uh, I looked it up. It had the TP, which is uh, training practice yep. on here. But then uh, my buddy Matt uh, said that uh, there still could be a charge in it. Well, this one likely, if I mean, if these, these look like original markings, if they are original markings, this will be like a steel projectile with a aluminum dummy fuse in it. Mm -hmm. So the projectile isn't what I'm worried about. It would be the um, cartridge if there's black powder in it, it looks like the primer hasn't been struck same thing with this one yeah it's an unstruck primer so i just need to shoot a quick x-ray of it and see what we got this we, one will likely we, be we solid won't, as well we won't film that portion okay i know you'd yeah i appreciate that <laughs> yeah i've uh i've had okay. michigan state out for pipe bombs before okay uh, were you detroit out for mortar round were you down in ipsy yeah, that's right. okay the you're bombs. the one with the pipe bombs down were, there, yeah. were you there i was there oh yeah. hey nice to uh, see you again yeah, good to see you again yeah yeah <laughs> hey, wasn't, how you doing sir nice to meet you <laughs> All right, so yeah, let me just uh, let me pull out my X-ray system. I'm gonna shoot a quick X-ray and see what we got. Yep, we won't we won't film in that direction. Okay, thank you. Yep. Oh, it's really heavy, dude. Oh, what dude, the? That's a huge artillery shell. That's like that's like uh, field artillery. Holy cow! Oh my gosh! Oh, when I saw it come up, it looked like a bullet. <laughs> it I, is. I was like, well, yeah. oh, that's my oh, first my ever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message Andy. <laughs> Good job, dude. Oh, dude. You're yelling at me for tapping the kingpin. <laughs> well, I didn't tap this. Hey, I'm County Central Dispatch. How can I help you? Uh, yes, my name is Jason Vanderwall. I'm on uh, Elm Street, the bridge over top of the river, and I'm uh, using a magnet to clean garbage out of the water, and I'm pretty sure I just pulled an artillery shell out. Sergeants happened to be driving by as I was pulling the third one out. Very cool. See, I never get anything cool when I go <laughs> magnet fishing. Do you go? Well, occasionally. Very cool. We've introduced quite a few police officers to it. Well, I figure if the worst case is better for the environment because you're pulling crap out of there. So that's the number one reason we do it. That and you know, there's a lot of swimming areas, a lot of places people go in the water and it's bad. Yep. Well, this river is so yucky. <laughs> wow, this is a good spot. This bridge has been a gold mine for us. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm not super worried about it. I'm more like with the actual grenades, you know, all that sort of stuff. That's what it is. That looks more like. I only found one grenade, one World War II mortar round, two pipe bombs, 30 millimeter and a 20 millimeter round. That's got to be like 70 millimeter field artillery or something like that. Know what it looks like. It's been a busy morning. <laughs> Maybe we just do it the right way. Oh yeah. <laughs> we appreciate. I could have handled it my way, but we appreciate that. <laughs> Thinking that it's a solid projectile, but 
That'd be cool if it was. Seven inches, about seven inches long, seven or eight, three inches in diameter. Just come from the ring. And it's uh, safe to move and then transport it. It feels solid. And with it being in the water, it's like, yeah. yeah. Not if it is solid. Is there any chance of me getting it back? No. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty heavy. What is that? Oh my god, it's an artillery shell. Hey Randy, I got an artillery shell. <laughs> you watch out, there's a car coming. I know. What in the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not the same as the last one. No way. <laughs> what? Dude. Alright, we're gonna have to move that to the other side of the bridge. Wait, wait, it might be hollow, dude. If it's hollow, we get to keep it. I think it's hollow. We gotta get. Oh, well, how are you gonna know? <laughs> Can we use this as the thumbnail? Yeah. yeah. You know, tap it or anything? No, I'm not going to tap it. Tap it and see what happens? No, that hole does not go up in there. That stops. All right, so we're going to have to call on it. So Dude! <laughs> oh. Um, would you like to carry this across the street and gingerly set it down for me? Is it because I'm a ginger? That had nothing to do with it, I promise Never. you. This truck's gonna hit you. That's fine. Not a lot, how are you? It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel hollow. Oh yeah, the, the shell casing's missing. Yeah, but that might be. Yeah. Um, it has a hole in the end of it, but it only goes in that far. If, if it would have been hollow and gone all the way up, we wouldn't even have called you because it was demilitarized at that point. But right. I'm not an EOD expert by any means. Um, how long ago did you find it? Just just before you called? Yeah, right before I called. Okay. How, where at in the water? On that side? You see that wet spot right there? The first one? Okay. Right there. Or no, the second one. Sorry, where the, the graffiti is. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to make a call. Okay, I, got, I got contacts with Bomb Squad, but that's in Michigan. doesn't doesn't help here yeah. um didn't figure it was worth waking him up today <laughs> yeah let me make a call and see if it's appreciate it you guys get a lot of calls from magnet fishers i think the last one i had they found a car over on the by the dana plant there was a, a submerged vehicle um, that had been taken in a burglary years ago um but there was no way for us to pull it out so our detectives just leave it there and they, one of the guys actually got played off of it that found it but so you're able to figure out what it was from yeah, yeah. getting a pin plate after it's been in the water be getting a license plate that you can read after well, it was like years four feet into the mud too you know i'm, I'm assuming it's a solid round but i'm not an expert you are it could be a training <laughs> round but yeah we'll take it and kind of clean it up and diagnose it and get it back to the military so okay, okay.
everything is heavy here. Oh, I see a spoon on there. And some more of those freaking insulator things. What is that? Is that a pipe? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. I think it's a piece of pipe. I don't think so. What do you mean? That looks like what we found last week. Whoa. No, because. No, 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 buddy. Yeah, you're. Oh, geez, you're yeah, right. Don't point that at me. Thumbnail. <laughs> uh, <Thumbnail. laughs> uh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I think you're right, man. See, it looks like there's there's threads here. That's why I thought it was a pipe. It looks like, dude, yep. it's got the threads like the one that we turned into the bounce bag. Yeah, but it's not pointy like that one. No, but it definitely sure as heck looks like one. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, those are copper. Okay, I'm going to take this over here and set it down. Now, now that my magnet was already on it. Dude, it's not light. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I think it is. Yeah. Hey, I'm not 100% certain about this one. It's not, it doesn't look exactly like the last one. Down at the end of the bridge right here. It's, it's got those rings on it, the bands, the ceiling bands. Um, but then like the end of it's hollow, but oh, it's only hollow about that far. So I, I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. You guys want some safes? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, it only, go, it only goes up like that far into there. So I don't, I don't know if that's where, if it's demilitarized, because that's where the explosive charge would have been. But the rest of it's still pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean, better safe than sorry. So I don't want to take it home in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a this is a pretty active dumping ground about 50 years ago. It looks like. Yes. That safe door's pretty cool. It is. That was Back in the day. Oh, that thing's light. Like it, this was a cheap safe. Oh, is it? Yeah. It says uh, it's kind of cool though. It says World Monetary Exchange, World Reserve Monetary Exchange. But I mean, it's. It's only like 35 pounds. What is that? Looks like a lamp or something. Whoa! What? Whoa! Oh, jeez <laughs> Louise. Dude. Yeah. That's a mortar round. Uh-huh. And why is it? I'm going to step over here. It's like an intact mortar round too, dude. It's still got the tip on it. Just the tip. Nope, not just the tip. The whole damn thing. Oh, wow. Dude. Huh. Yeah, that's definitely a mortar round. Oh, you think? Okay. <laughs> um, There's no safety in the. Do you want to call Andy and or text Andy and? Yeah, I'm gonna. We should... I'm gonna message Andy. Oh, buddy. But actually, we should just call the police. All right, guys. So Jason found ammunition. And we have had to shut down a local road. I'm sure they love us right about now. Um, we got the fire department here, as well as EMS, in case something goes wrong, as well as local law enforcement. They're trying to make a determination on what to do next. But uh, once again, yeah, we shut the road down. Shutting down roads in Ohio again. You can have it. <laughs> you kicked me off the bridge. <laughs> I have a feeling it's empty, but it probably is. But I, I'm not an EOD expert, man. Here am I. Bond squad's coming out. With
get your toy back. No. <laughs> oh, we, we got we got a uh, uh, February. We got a speaking thing. A library asked us to come and and talk to people, and that'd have been cool to have. Cool. Locally or? Uh, no. Up, up by Detroit. Up by Detroit. How are you guys doing? doing good. good. Thank you guys. All good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, are they going to detonate that today? No. <laughs>